The musical Les Miserables may tell a very French story, but it's wowed audiences around the world. And now, after hit runs on the West End and on Broadway, it's currently drawing big crowds in Iran. Les Mis is the second longest running musical in the world, but this is only the second time a big budget show of its kind has hit theaters in Iran after a production of Oliver two years ago. But the cast and the crew have had to make some compromises to please the country's many censors. Catherine Bennett reports. Musical theatre fans might recognise this familiar overture, but this performance of the classic musical Les Miserables is in an entirely new setting. Victor Hugo's literary masterpiece has come to Iran for the first time. When I saw Oliver Twist in London, I was filled with envy. I kept wondering if it would be possible to have a performance of the play in Iran one day. And as I was watching various videos of Les Miserables, I kept asking myself, why couldn't we have a big and glorious musical of Les Mis in Iran? But recreating revolutionary France in the Islamic Republic has meant making some concessions. The actresses are all wearing wigs, as it's forbidden for women to show their hair in public. Women aren't allowed to sing solos, so actresses are always accompanied by another voice. And no touching between men and women. Characters Cosette and Marius can't even hold hands to express their love. Fortunately, director Parsai is an old hand. He used to head the performing arts department at the government censorship board, so he knows what can get through and what can't. <laughs> When a group is dancing in the Thénardier's cafe, they are, of course, performing within the defined rules. That is, there's nothing that defies social norms or religious principles, nor anything that violates regulations. With a 450-strong cast, crew and orchestra, it's enjoyed wild success, playing to sold-out audiences six nights a week since the run started in November last year. But the production has been criticised for its big budget, at a time when economic inequality is rife in the country. The tickets are too expensive for most Iranians, restricting the audience to a middle-class Tehran elite. But Parsai has big ambitions. He wants Iran's capital to become the next Broadway.